Okay, what I'd like to talk about now is just selecting objects and there's two different ways that we can do that. I can left click here in the viewport and I can drag out my marquee. Now if I drag that to the right, either up or down from below the point that I started, I get a blue box. Okay, you see there, only one object was selected. If I left click and I drag to the left, either down or above from the position that I was in before, you'll notice I get a green box and that's the window crossing box. So if I left click and I drag there, you see I've got everything selected that I had in that box. If I click to the right and I just do that, you see I've missed out these lines and that text. Okay, uh, And I'd have to select that line to deselect. So very, very useful. Uh, I can come in, you see, and I can just very quickly say, well, actually, I just want that. I want that guy. And you see where I've drawn the box is I've incorporated the word draw front cart and the line. But in actual fact, it's only ever going to end up as being those two objects that get selected. If I want to do a smaller selection, so I'm feeling uh, a little bit more confident, I might just do that. Where I select part of the object and then I've got the whole thing selected. So let's control Z that one. Other object options that we've got rather are the Windows Polygon tool for selecting. So if I was to say just invoke my move tool here, I've got a thing where I can say select objects. Well if I just type WP for Windows Polygon, my selection mode changes to be select first polygon point. So what I can do with that is I can just start to draw what is effectively a fence. Now because of the way that I'm drawing this fence, what it's doing is it's saying everything inside of that blue rectangle. So it's a little bit like me doing a marquee selection and, and, um, and sort of dragging to the right. Everything inside that, when I press enter, will get selected. Uh, and if I do move and we press um, WP again, you see, it doesn't matter which way you go, whether you go left to right or whether you go up or down, it's only ever going to be things which are uh, included within that um, within that rectangle or that polygon rather. It doesn't matter even if I drag up over here, it's only going to be things that are inside it. So you can't, you don't get that kind of the. Guess what I'm saying is what you don't get is you don't get the window include uh, and the window crossing modes when you're using that um, that uh, windowed polygon.